So as many of you guys know that last weekend was 10X Growth Conference by Grant Cardone in Las Vegas. And for those of you that did attend, are probably gonna know exactly, you know, a lot of the things that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. But for those of you that didn't attend, be sure that you are attending next year. And the following video is really, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly what are some of my personal takeaways from that event and really the top three takeaways that I took from that event and that I know that I'm gonna be applying into my business in 2020. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, consider subscribing as I drop brand new content about selling on Amazon and really, you know, tips and tricks that you can take out there and utilize in your business today. Now, I know this is a little bit of a different type of video that I post in my channel. As usual, I'm talking about Amazon, but this is more about, you know, just kind of a, a 10X growth con that happened last week, right? And the reason why I really decided to make this video is number one, obviously I was just there. I mean, can't you see, right? Number two, it was really an eye opener for me um, because I took away so many things that I know are gonna help me to really make my business better and uh, just I can serve even those that you know follow me that you know those of you that uh, watch my videos my students and really just everyone around me now the biggest takeaway that's not part of the three but the biggest really takeaway is really being around people being around other people understanding that in order for you to go to the next level in order for you to grow in life in relationships in business professionally personally you need people right you don't need like the whole solopreneur thing is great and awesome but at some some point especially if you are trying to go to the next level and I'm talking about tens of millions or really taking things to the next level you are gonna need people right and surrounding yourself in an environment of people that are winners people that want to win in life and win more and people that are simply on a different level is completely mind-changing and honestly I always tell you know many of those that want to kind of achieve greatness in life is a couple of things that you have to do in life and professionally and personally in order for you to go to the next level is number one you need to change your surrounding like that's the main thing and then number two you need to have a vehicle right and really this this you know conference provided both because it you know was 12,000 plus people you were surrounded by these massive thinkers people that want to achieve you know greatness and that want to go to the next level and not to mention all the the great speakers you know like John Travolta Usher Kevin Hart you know Dana White and then all the other marketers and people that got on stage that shared their stories shared you know exactly where they were and where they are today and it gives us inspiration and gives us you know uh, uh, um, uh, it gives us a, a way and an idea that hey you know what everything is possible if they were able to accomplish you know, the, the, the amount of success they had, then I could do the same thing as well. Now, the number one takeaway that I got from that conference, and that was uh, a quote by John Travolta, really just a phrase by John Travolta, he said, never assume. Now, many times what happens is we fall into a, a situation where we assume what's gonna happen, right? We all automatically assume and try to jump into conclusions and say, you know what? It's probably gonna happen like this or it's not gonna work out or it's gonna work out. You know, whether if you're assuming for the best or for the worst, but something that he mentioned and honestly, he said it on Saturday, I'm recording this video on Wednesday. You're gonna see it on Thursday. I have already used that little phrase, never assume, in my business, and it's already made me $6,000 since last time I heard it on Saturday until yesterday. And I know you might think like, Bashar, how is that even possible? But just simple, you know, uh, mind shift, right? Just simple decision making. Like I came to jump into a conclusion and say, this is probably not gonna work out. This person is probably not gonna buy. This thing is probably not gonna fall through. You know, just kind of jumping into conclusions and then I remembered, John Travolta saying never assume and literally just allowed me to keep my mind open and say, you know what? I'm gonna give this thing the whole shot. I'm gonna give this thing an opportunity and let me see how it pan out. A lot of times we try to, like we are the thing that's holding us from moving forward. We are the thing that is stopping us or stopping a specific thing from happening because we automatically assume and jump into conclusions. So be sure to never assume. The second thing and that was something that Floyd Mayweather said actually is it will not always be the same, right? And that and the way he said it is it was in a good way and in a bad way, right? And here's what this means. If things are going great for you, don't rest on your laurels and say, "You know what? Things are going great. It's always going to be like this." 
that's when you become most vulnerable and that's when you, you know, kind of sit back and relax, kick back your feet and that's when things really start happening, right? Always be wanting to go to the next level. If you're doing great right now and you're like, you've accomplished such massive success and you have even surprised yourself and everyone around you, that's awesome. There is always gonna be the next level. Regardless of where you are, there's always gonna be the next level. And if you do rest on your laurels, something is gonna, you know, you're gonna be vulnerable to one little thing not going right and bam, you're gonna lose touch because now, you're not used to hustling anymore. You've rested for such a long time. And then now you have to go back into the hustle mode and it's just gonna be that much you know, harder. Also goes on the negative side, which is if things are not going your way right now, it's not always gonna be like that. If you're facing conflict, if you're facing you know, setbacks, understand this is not gonna be the way of life. This is gonna be just another setback, right? So that is what my second takeaway from uh, 10X Growth Gone was. Now the third takeaway, and, and I'm pretty sure you guys all know if you've been following Grant Cardone or know who he is, it's always 10x thinking, it's always massive thinking, it's always you know wanting to, to not just achieve more, but always wanting to go to the highest, right? And the reason why he's always talking about 10x, because a lot of times we really are conservative and we really don't understand how much amount of work is needed to accomplish something. And what happens is we just don't put as much work into a specific thing and we always come short. And, and he always, Grant Cardone always also says is, if you want to accomplish a specific thing, let's say for example, just for, for the, the example here, let's use $100,000. Let's say if you wanna make an additional $100,000 instead of 2020, right? Shoot for 1 million because the amount of work, the amount of thinking, the amount of preparation for a million dollars is completely different from 100,000. And try it, like literally just try it. I know I tried it in my business and literally everything changed for me. Like you start looking at the things you're doing right now and you're like, oh my God, like I have so much more potential. I am doing things at a, such a low level that like, it's just, it's just massive, you know, and it's life changing, right? So try to do it in your business, try to do it in your personal life and just see how everything will be different. And also a lot of times what happens is, he always talks about this as well as if you, let's say if it is June and you've only made 25,000 and you know you wanted to make 100,000, don't lower your target, but upper or, 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 or simply put more work put more energy, right? So you've gone half a year and you've only made a quarter of your target, then now you need, you know you need to go three times the amount of work. You need to put in three times the amount of work that you put in the first half in order for you to accomplish you know, your goal. Don't decrease your target, okay? Always increase your level of commitment, your level, level of energy, and your level of work. Now guys, once again, Bashar Ketu here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those were my three top takeaways of uh, you know the 10X Growth Conference that happened in Vegas last week. And now, if you were there, I would love to hear your top three takeaways in the comment section. So be sure you share those with us. Now, once again, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up and let me know how I can help you. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts of what about Amazon FBA or other topics you want to see from me in this channel. Now, be sure that you are sticking around until the end of this video and then kind of checking the different videos that are gonna pop up at the end. Um, you know, I'm gonna be putting in a, a video about uh, um, you know how to sell on Amazon, a full tutorial, a full one-hour tutorial, and also another video about uh, you know my top uh, uh, method of locating a product that makes twenty thousand dollars per month. So be sure that you're checking those out. But aside from that, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys next Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Have yourselves a great week and take care.